My name is Lana Wolf, and I am a mattress actress and pet gimp trainer from Scotland and this is things that I can't live without. So number one on my list is something I like to put in my mouth. It's White Monster, <laughs> also known as Goth Juice up here in Scotland. But it's my favourite monster, I don't know why. Uh, but I, I try not to drink it too much anymore because I used to drink like three a day and that was probably really bad for me. Um, so I only really drink them now when I'm doing like, I don't know, like collab days and work and filming and stuff. But yeah, and sometimes before I play football. But yeah, that is my drink, I can't live without. Next on my list, I have my award-winning OnlyFans account. Yes, this is my Expiz award. I won this last year at Expiz Europa. Um, it is premium social media star of the year, so that means that I got the most votes out of everyone in Europe. So that's a huge achievement for me, and I'm very proud of this. I love to look at it every day on my trophy shelf. <laughs> Um, so yeah, by the time this video goes up, I will have a 50% sale on my OnlyFans so you can check out my adult content and my Dom content. So yeah, the link will be in description. So yeah, go and subscribe after you watch this video and send me a cheeky little message. Number three. Number three is something I definitely cannot live without and that is my phone. Um, I have to have the like the most modern phone so I think that right now it's like the iPhone 14 Pro Max with like complete maxed out um, memory um, and, and, and stuff like that because obviously my job is content creation so I normally film on my phone most of my adult content for my OnlyFans. It is quite amateur what I do but I think that's what my fans like and prefer so yeah, it's only really my um, my some of my YouTube stuff that I get it, I get help from people. But yeah, normally when I film stuff, it's on my own on my phone. So I've got loads of memory on it. I've got all my apps that I need. I do all my editing on my phone. So like I use InShot, um, Facetune sometimes, and Visco for the filters. And obviously I have my the the websites that I use. So like OnlyFans and a few others like saved to my phone on my on my phone so and obviously TikTok is a big one now um so yeah I'm on this a lot and obviously I need to use it to contact everyone that I need to contact like people that I want to collab with and I don't know like social media is such a big part of what I do and then not only the social media aspect but like I said I do all my filming and editing on my phone too so yeah I, I'm on it all the time, I hate it. I actually have an app. I use an app called Opal, not a, you know, endorsement or whatever, but um, I have an app called Opal that I use to like limit my, my social media access sometimes because I'm so addicted to my phone. So yeah, definitely something I can't live without. Fourth on my list, I have a pair of pleasers. So, yeah, some of my girlies watching will recognize these. These are like your classic stripper shoe pleasers. Um, they're so comfortable to wear because they're weighted at the front. Um, so they're easy for pole dancing. I used to wear these, like, well, different variations of these throughout my career as a stripper when I used to work abroad um, in Magaluf, Tenerife, New York. So I've had a few different versions of pleasers, but these are always my go-to shoe. I don't know, I think maybe because I learned to dance in them and I learned to, to wear them. Like I could literally run down the street in these. Like <laughs> I, I just find them so comfortable, which means that when I'm doing any work in the dungeon or you know filming, like I feel pretty safe. I'm not gonna fall and snap an ankle. Although that's probably what most people think when you see them because they are so big. I think these are like, these must be seven inch ones or six. Six, these are definitely six or seven inch. Um, I think in the past, I would normally go for the five, the five inch, but these are definitely a bit bigger. I've upgraded, you see, over the years. But yeah, these are definitely part of the Lana Wolf costume, the outfit. Um, and I'll show you a few other bits of the outfit in a minute. But yeah, 
You can't have a Lana Wolf without a killer pair of heels. Or boots, I should say. Next, we have something that I definitely can't live without again. It is a Rangers top. So this is this season's current Rangers home top, which actually just came out. Um, so I'm still getting used to it. I do actually quite like it. I think it's just the sponsor that's throwing me off, but I'll get used to it. And because it's a Rangers home top, I know I'm gonna wear it. Um, if you guys know me, you know I'm a huge Rangers fan. Rangers is a big part of my life. And I wear the, the, the kits all the time for content. I make a lot of football themed content, whether it's YouTubes or TikToks or vlogs or even adult content sometimes. Um, so as, as a lot of you guys will know, um, I do a lot of old firm themed dungeon content. <laughs> so this is definitely 100% part of the um, official Lan Wolf uniform. So yes, definitely a Rangers home top. And obviously I go to a lot of the games too, so I'll be wearing this when I go to games at Ibrox. So yeah. That's my Ranger Spoon Number six on my list is something I can't show you at this table, but it's definitely something I can't live without and it's very, very important to me because it's a place where I get up to all of my shenanigans. So, let's go check it out. This is my dungeon. And this is where the magic happens. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I have a red, white, and blue dungeon. I think I might be the only dominatrix in the world to have a red, white, and blue Rangers themed dungeon. But yeah, as you can see, I've got my, my Rangers flags, my Rangers cushions, my Union Jacks everywhere. I've got my memorabilia up here. This is my famous Barry Ferguson number six top with his signature on there. At the time, he was Rangers captain and Scotland captain. Okay, and this is my 2008 UEFA Cup final top with signatures from all the team. There's some pretty sick signatures on there, to be fair. We've got Kevin Thompson, David Weir, Nacho Novo, Alan McGregor is somewhere on there. Yeah. I'm very, very proud of this bit of Rangers memorabilia. And then we have... This is my custom made red, white and blue St. Andrew's cross with fetters harnesses and I also have a matching bench here which is also custom made for me in red, white and blue. Again, I don't think anyone else on this planet Earth has a red, white and blue custom made dungeon apart from the wolf. This is where I shoot the majority of my content that you'll find on my fans so make sure you subscribe and check that out um, yeah content including this chair now this chair might look out of place in here but surprisingly a lot of things stick very well to it um, so yeah <laughs> for myself and my pet gimps <laughs> we're almost at the end of things that I can't live without so what do we have we have <sighs> This is a Union Jack bikini. Again, if you have been following me for a while, you will have seen me wearing different variations of the Union Jack bikini, but this is my current favorite because I like the, the, the strings on it and I like how it makes my chesticles look. But yeah, I have Union Jacks all over my house. It's kind of part of the brand now, so. I love Union Jack, so I always have Union Jack bikinis. Different different types of Union Jack bikinis. Like, go and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lana Wolf UK, and you will see loads of photos and videos of me in a Union Jack bikini. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna treat you guys because I'm gonna try it on for you. Next on my list, I have my football boots. So I actually play football. Um, I'm a right back for Flip the Mindset FC. Um, 
To be honest, I I wish I had a different colour boots. Like if you know me, you know I love red, white and blue, my Union Jacks, or even like an orange pair of boots like Shagger. I would really like that, but um, Shagger's Alan McGregor from Rangers, if you didn't know. Um, but he always had orange boots, especially on an old farm. So I, I kind of want to get some like orange boots or whatever, but I actually do have a pair of blue boots that somebody gifted me, but they just don't fit the same. And I feel like when you wear a pair of boots, especially when you're doing a sport, you want to do well at the sport and like these just fit me and I can just play better in them. Like they don't hurt me. Like they just fit me well because I've been wearing them. So I have been wearing these, but I do definitely need an upgrade. I think the coloring of these give me like hearts vibes um, and not so much Rangers. So I'd kind of like, Rangers ones or orange ones or even like flip the mindset blue ones which is more of like an aqua blue but yeah these are my football boots just thought they'd be I thought it would be important to show you because it's my main hobby really um I absolutely love actually getting to play the football now so yeah and they're also very good for trampling pet games with see those studs <laughs> next on my list of things I definitely can't live without is my famous on King Billy. So this is King Billy, the glow-in-the-dark blue that I use to annihilate Celtic fans with in my dungeon. So it's a very famous on. I feel like everyone in Scotland knows this one at this point. Um, and yeah, I use this <laughs> before every old farm to show a Celtic fan who's boss and so that they know their place. So yeah, this is the one and only King Willie the Glow in the Dark Willie. Number 10 on my list is something that I definitely can't live without, but something that I think that all women should have. Come on now. This is a Wolf Manor pet gimp. They do your laundry, they do your cooking, they drive you places. They're very handy. 